was when you saw that 22 year old undeveloped kid running from some of this. I'm experienced now, professional. Jaws been broke, been lost, knocked down a couple of times. Bad. Been chopping trees. I've done something new for this fight. I done wrestled with an alligator. That's right. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. That's bad. Only last week, I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean, I think that's the sick. guys um gonna go ahead and pause that and let me fix the angle here just a little bit yeah anyways um it's a sad day today Muhammad Ali was announced dead about an hour and a half ago or around two hours ago and when I when I heard it uh, I was like what I, I, I couldn't believe it. it it was um truly sad at the moment and it still is I think it's gonna be something that the whole world is gonna mourn um, if you go into your Facebook, so you see a lot of artists, a lot of famous people um, really uh, paying tribute to him. And it's just a sad day. He was truly inspiring. And, and it wasn't just about the greatness that he displayed within the ring. It was also about the life that he lived outside um, of the ring. And it's something that truly motivated me. And it has truly inspired me and shocked my life and into making me follow the things that I want to do. Um, I've always said that my parents have always um, motivated me and inspired me. Their stories alone are truly inspiring to me. But there's always people that I've never met that yet feel bigger when it comes to inspiring me and um, making my goals and dreams come true. It sometimes takes words from people that you don't know to truly get you moving, uh, moving along the path towards your dreams. But yeah, I mean, Muhammad Ali was a, a fighter, man. I mean, look at the things he would do. Uh, he was probably the greatest of all time. And um, he, he didn't only fight uh, inside the ring. He also fought outside. I mean, he stood up to the country, to the United States of America, when he was getting drafted to go to the Vietnamese War. And he said, I'm not going because I don't, I don't have anything against them. That was something crazy about him, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, he's truly a fighter, probably one of the few, very few men that are truly fighters. And you could tell by the things he did outside of the ring. I mean, he went on from winning the Olympics to throwing away his Olympic medal. It's, it's fucking crazy what he did. And um, sad that he has passed away now. It, we've truly lost a legend within the sport of boxing. And a man that inspires and could inspire millions. And that is true. Um, something that he did is what I'm chasing. I wish to have a legacy. I wish to leave a legacy once I'm gone. And um, that's what I'm doing here. I think that's what the majority of us are doing here with the channels, with the YouTube fitness channels. It's a way of getting our name out there and helping people out and, and therefore creating your legacy, becoming immortal. Uh, so, yeah, that's the thing I'm chasing. You know, for me, money, uh, it's important. I've said it before, it's important, but it's not everything. I do wish to have one day live a life that I'm economically um, stable, happy, and comfortable, right? Uh, but it's not what I'm, it's not the only thing that I'm after. Uh, I wish to leave a legacy within the fitness industry, uh, change something within it, or do something imp that, that creates impact, and really leave my name behind along the way, helping people. Um, with whatever it is, helping them get inspired to follow their own dreams or, you know, I mean, this man inspired me to follow my dreams. I, uh, I mean, at some time I, I wished I got into boxing, but I think the ship has sailed. Who knows, you know, 
life is unpredictable. But yeah, like I said, it's a sad day. I think him along with Bruce Lee have impacted my life with the words that they've said, the, the, the quotes that I read when I'm feeling like un, uh, without any motivation, when I'm feeling down, uninspired, I go on and watch a documentary of Muhammad Ali, watch a documentary of Bruce Lee, or you know, read your quotes, the things that they said, their stories. It's truly inspirational. But yeah, it's a sad day and I don't know, I don't think there will ever be another human being like Muhammad Ali within the sport or outside of life. The way he lived it, the way he is, there will never be another Muhammad Ali. There will never be any copies of Muhammad Ali. Um, so yeah, I, I guess if I had to say something about Muhammad Ali is thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done because you've led me to where I'm going right now. And well, I hope you rest in peace and I hope your family finds peace. And yeah, it's gonna be a sad, sad weekend. So rest in peace, Muhammad Ali, also known as Cassie's Clay. Peace, guys.